Hey guys, uh, welcome back to more news from the Mr. Pandaria beta. As you can tell, I'm on my Paladin, and I'm going to talk to you a bit about the Retribution Paladin rotation and how it has changed uh, in the new Mr. Pandaria beta. Now, a lot of it is a lot better than what it was before. There are some stuff that has been removed, um, stuff that has been added, but on the whole, I find it to be a lot smoother and a lot more enjoyable rotation for Retribution Paladins. Now, as you can see, right below my little unit frame here, there are two extra Holy Power slots. Uh, for those of you who have been reading the information, or for those of you who have not, uh, there are now, you can collect up to five Holy Power charges, and your abilities all still use a maximum of three. Now, the main holy power changes, uh, there are a few within the uh, talons themselves. Uh, 75, level 75 row is your main row of talons that use your holy power, mainly based around mainly these two, Holy Avenger and Divine Purpose. I will go over those later. Uh, when I talk about the, when I go through talent by talent and tell you what each of them entails. Now, um, the main rotation is still the same. You want to, well, first of all, what has happened, we, as you can tell, we no longer have a, a buff bar. Or we no longer have an aura bar, as I should say. We still have Blessing of Light, and which is pretty much the same thing. Blessing of Might now actually increases mastery, and Blessing of Kings is the same, still the same as your Mark of the Wild, or, you know, Strength, Agility, and Elector increased by 5%, and now uh, Blessing of Might increases mastery by 5 I don't know if that's a, the actual value, or it's going to switch to a percentage or something else. I think it's balanced, but for now it is increases your mastery by 5 So. When we look at the ability so far, instead of having our regular aura bar, we have our seal bar. Auras have been actually removed, and the only one that's really remaining, uh, Crusader Aura, our movement speed buff, or mounted movement speed buff, has been removed and replaced with a passive buff called Heart of the Crusader. Now this, all it does is increases your mount speed by 20%, and it's permanent. Now, it's honestly a lot more useful, you can just pop in your mount and you go really fast. It's a lot of fun, especially seeing as in the in Missile Pandaria, you cannot actually ride a, or fly until you get to level 90. As if you go into your toolbar, or your spell bar, spell book, your last ability is win, Wisdom of the Four Winds, which allows you to ride flying against Missile Pandaria. It doesn't cost anything, you just get it when you level, when you level 90. But, the abilities I'd like to talk and show you are rotation is stay the same. We're going to use Seal of Truth, which is now just fills you with holy light, uh, causing melee damage to a deal 14 additional holy damage and apply censure our dot our stacking dot to the target. Um, Seal of Righteousness has been changed. What it does is it deals 5% weapon damage to all targets within 8 yards, so it is your AoE. Um, Seal of Justice is still your slows movement speed. Seal of Light is still your healers, regen mana, whatnot. Your main abilities, though, are going to be... You're going to want to use your main abilities uh, to generate holy power. Now, instead of having a lot of your abilities take 1 to 3 holy power and Crusader Strike generating holy power, you now have Retribution, you have Judgment, Crusader Strike, and Exorcism will generate holy power for you. Now, obviously, you want to get your Inquisition up first, which consumes up to 3 Holy Power, at 10 seconds per stack instead of 12, and mainly because your Judgment and Crusader Strike will generate Holy Power, and you can still get the random procs of Exorcism, and the whenever it's off cooldown, you can get uh, Charges of Templar's Verdict much quicker. Now, uh, for those of you who play Retribution Paladin, Templar's Verdict is a lot really frustrating currently because what does, it'll actually, you can accidentally click it when you don't have three holy power and waste a stack. And seeing as you only generate holy power from, you know, 
using Crusader Strike, it usually takes about 12 seconds to get a full, full, uh, full uh, three stacks of holy power. But now you can use a bunch of your abilities. Um, Judgment, which is affected by haste now. Crusader Strike, and your Exorcism, which is only a 15 second cooldown. And they all apply to your holy power. They all uh, generate holy power. Now your AOE rotation will be much different. Um, but so far, um, your single target, all you have to do, as you always do as a, as a Retribution Paladin, keep your Inquisition up to make sure that holy damage set stacks up. You don't have to uh, really play around with the cool with the uh, time or Inquisition as much. Uh, deciding whether or not you want to use Inquisition or Templar's Verdict because you generate holy power much faster. But for your AoE rotation, it's pretty much based around Hammer of the Righteous, which is now not it is now a general ability for whole, for retribution and protection. It is just it's pretty much the same ability. Hits all targets and uh, applies weakened blows, which will lower their physical damage dealt by ten percent. You know that's mainly for the tanks. And your Templar's Verdict has been replaced by Divine Storm, which like Templar's Verdict. Now only it unlocks once you have three holy powers, so you can't click it beforehand. But you can just keep uh, when there are more than essentially, uh, and at the same time, your Hammer of the Righteous doesn't need more than three targets. Anytime you use Hammer of the Righteous, you generate holy power. And it's mainly just to keep when you're doing AoE, just keep hammering holy power, keep hammering Hammer of the Righteous. Get. Three Holy Power, hit your Divine Storm. Now, Holy Wrath is apparently gone, from what I can tell. It might just be taken out for this portion, but it seems like Hol Holy Wrath is gone. Uh, we still have... Yeah, Holy Wrath is gone. I'm trying to figure out whether or not we have Consecration, but it seems Consecration is actually gone as well as a main Paladin ability. That may change, or that may come back. It seems it is only a uh, Protection Paladin ability, and it's a 9 second cooldown, and costs 1400 mana. Now, there are a lot of other abilities that have switched sides, but the only things that have really changed except for our main AoE and our main our AoE rotation being a lot simpler and our DPS rotation uh, being a lot smoother is that we have lost Zealotry and it has become a talent now. A one of our level 75 talents in the form of Holy Avenger. We still have Avenging Wrath and our uh, Guardian of Ancient Kings on. Now, that has been a look at the ability so far. I will post annotations up in the video. as you, I'll have annotations in the video as you see now. Um, coming out uh, soon will be a video where I go over all the talents of the pal all the paladin talents level by level, one by one. I'll give you all the pal abilities except for level ninety. I won't be able to talk about them as much. I will have I will talk about them, but I cannot show you them as they are just not in the game so far. We can't reach level nine. We can only get up to level uh, eighty six. But I will talk to you about those abilities. I will have more videos coming out on the my tutorials on the looking for raid encounters for my beginner's guide to wow i also have a guide to add-ons for my beginner's guide to wow as well uh, if you guys like my videos subscribe please subscribe uh, you like this video hit like comment down below if there's a video you'd like me to do content you want me to cover i'll get those out to you as quickly as possible um, thank you guys for coming apologize for a long stake of me to get out of video lately but um, Soon, come May, I move into an apartment, and I'll have a lot of spare time for the rest of the summer. So you guys have a great day, and uh, come back soon for more information.